Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to upload a single file from local folder to FTP server by using SSIS package. So what we will learn in this video how to create an SSIS package from basics and then we are going to learn about FTP task how to use that to upload the file from local to the FTP server. Next we will learn how to create the variables for local folder path and how to create the variables for remote path that we are going to use in FTP task. So let's uh, open, first of all let me show you how the FTP server will look like. I have an address for FTP so it is called FTP colon backslash backslash 192.198.1.44 uh, and uh, that's what my FTP server address is. Now in your case it can be different. It can be FTP maybe colon and then you have a uh, Microsoft.com or whatever it depends so whatever the name they provide you or IP address they provide you this is how you are going to use it first of all I will suggest to open your Internet Explorer or any other Explorer you use uh, Chrome or uh, Firefox or whatever and uh, go and check uh, if the folders does exist for you so I put it here and then uh, these are the folders uh, uh, or directories uh, they are existing here and then you can browse to them uh, and see if the files are there or not there so just take a look uh, even for the testing purpose once you are gonna create uh, your SSIS package and upload the file it's good idea to have permission uh, so you can verify your packages working correctly or not so what we are gonna do we are gonna move uh, our file uh, from one of the local folder actually we will copy not move here I have created a, a local folder and I have a customer file that I will copy from this local desktop to the FTP server and then here is uh, the folder where we are going to copy that so we will copy to the test folder right now it has only one file that is a, a package I was just uh, uploading for test purpose now open SSDT SQL Server Data Tools or Bids whatever you have according to the version of SSIS you are using. I'm using uh, uh, SQL Server 2012 and uh, uh, that's how I have SSDT SQL Server Data Tools. So now once you are in the solution click here in the SSIS packages and say new SSIS package. As FTP task is a task and we will be finding that task in the control flow and uh, here if you go in under the commons you will have a FTP task here so bring it here now we are going to call these packages uh, pkg underscore upload file and this is very common scenario when your company is creating a file every day and you want to run that package and uh, upload that file to the FTP server for your other clients uh, so your company is going to create this file with static name every day at 5 p.m. and you will be running this package at 6 p.m. to upload that file. So name is static here and I will have other videos where we will have multiple files with different day time and a lot of other scenarios you will see. Here now first of all when we click on FTP we will see we have to create FTP connection. So click here new connection and here we have to provide server name and I'm gonna paste this one here and if you will look next part of port uh, server port if uh, it is 21 by default if uh, you have FTP that's working on different port you have to provide that then you provide credentials I'm gonna provide my username and password and test connection now what you see here it failed why did it fail it's saying okay server name port name or something is invalid so nothing is invalid we do not have to mention ftp colon backslash backslash here that's all we don't have to do it now if you see still it is given us error okay hit okay let's take this backslash as well now test the connection it's all successful if even uh, I will create a connection I'm gonna show you one more connection I'm gonna open this up uh, this one new connection 
and I'm going to use ftp.microsoft.com so this is the FTP address for Microsoft I can I don't have to provide username and password and it will just uh, test a connection for me but if I will take uh, if I will go here and uh, if I will write here or I can write the exact way FTP dot Microsoft dot com let's see if what it will open so it did open all those folders so if you open this one uh, you will see some other files and all that we can you can t use this one to download some files and test and if you copy this exactly thing and come back to FTP and paste it here as a server what's going to happen let's test it's say invalid so it is not accepting these backslashes here so you get rid of these always and then you will be just fine I know packages uh, this uh, pa package is uh, uh, become a little uh, lengthy and uh, I have to explain all these things in this first video but we will not explain the same things uh, in the next video so let's uh, create connection real quick in this case we will be providing our FTP address now one thing I would like to tell you right now we have a videos on FTP server how to create FTP for your local machines so you can go ahead and watch them and uh, you will find it very uh, interesting and you can set up your FTP on Windows 7 or uh, SQL uh, sorry Windows 2012 as well so you there are videos uh, we have uh, created already the connection is successful hit OK next part uh, we need to transfer the files so here we are sending the file and here we are right now I'm gonna show you without using the variable then uh, just in a minute I will show you with variables so we are saying is local path variable no so we have to create a, a connection and here I'm gonna go to the existing file that is in the desktop in local folder and it's called customer now hit OK and next uh, uh, we are sending files so operation is sending files we will do receiving and all that in other video and here is a remote path variable no it's not so I'm gonna write it here so I always have to start with backslash and say test folder that's how we will write it and then do you want to override the file in the destination I'm gonna keep this one false for now and test it and show you if it will fail so hit OK now if I run my let's go and check the folder sorry this is Microsoft website here we have our website and we are in the test folder if we run the package it completed successfully stop the package go to the folder and refresh one time it is asking me my password let me pass that login so now we see that customer.txt file is here it doesn't have a whole lot of data it was just a, uh, I created an empty file now we can go back actually and open it and I can call this is my test file now what happened we are gonna go back and change some properties because we want to override it so every time our requirement is uh, we take this file and place as it is and overwrite on an existing one so we have to say true hit ok run the package now go back to the FTP and take a look uh, on your file let's refresh so this is my test file remember we have uh, uh, written this line so it is working fine next uh, I'm gonna go quickly and show you how to use the variables why I want to use the variable because I want to move my package from one place to other place in different environments such as QA UAT um, production so I have to I might have to use different folders I might have to use a different uh, local folders or even remote folders uh, for this uh, package and uh, to put this file so I, I should it is a good idea to use the variables or parameters uh, for this uh, configuration and you can change that according to the environment so let's go and create a 
variable here we can create a parameter as well but uh, I'm going to use the variable because if you are using a bids uh, 2008 or 2005 SSIS uh, uh, you can use the variables and then change the configuration so here what I'm going to do I'm going to call it uh, local file path and here we have to provide string and now we go back to the folder take the path and we have to control V and then we have to write the file name here so it is customer.txt file we are all good here now if you go back here and in the remote what you see here is the folder where we are putting data we can take this exactly value copy or cut whatever you want to do hit ok now create a new variable and we called it remote folder here this has to be string variable as well now paste it here we are all good let's go back to FTP task and use those variables now we are saying yes it is a variable the local path is variable and I'm gonna use the variable local file path here I will be saying yes it is variable on the remote and I'm gonna use uh, the variable remote folder we are all set one more thing uh, I'm gonna go and make changes in the file so we'll see this is my test file and this time I am using variables and control s that will save the file hit ok let's run the package and see if uh, our variables are being used and package completed successfully so that's great stop the package go to FTP server refresh one time looks good and here we can also see the time is changed and every time you load the file you will see the time change so hit on customer oh see this is my file so you will totally surprise like oh where is our second line let's refresh and it is there so sometimes you have to refresh because the explorer is just keeping the history you have to refresh to read those newly data so don't be worry about that if you see oh it's not working it is working just refresh and uh, this is it and this requirement is very much true when your company has decided to create a, a static file that you have to put every day in some static folder on FTP server for your clients and you want to override it and they can come and after you load the file and download to their system and they can use that file to put in data a database or even for any other purposes so thanks very much for watching this video stay tuned I'm gonna make a, a lot of videos on FTP task and very interesting scenarios are coming Thanks and uh, I will see you in next video.